Hey guys, it's Sluggy, and I've got a new artwork here today with the recorded time lapse. It's a fan art that I've been wanting to do for a while now of a YouTuber that I actively follow. Her username on YouTube is Bailey J. I'll leave a link, of course. She also has a vlog channel, but her primary thing is that she also records her uh, art making of these Cop Copic drawings, which is really cool. And I really like them because, especially since I, you know, work digitally, it's really nice to follow artists who work traditionally just to, I guess, remind me how awesome it is to work with your hands a little bit and work traditionally. So I start out with a sketch and I'll explain the concept behind it a little later when it's more obvious what it is. But for now, I did just start with a sketch and I just pulled and, pull, I pulled and pushed until I got something that I liked. And uh, I sometimes go through a step where I clean up the lines, but I don't I I don't like to do that in the end. I just realize it's not that fun. I just I like it when it's messy. Here I'm just filling in the local color. Like I'm not trying to make it look 3D yet. I'm just trying to figure out all the different colors and if they look good together. And now that I I, now that I know that I do like the colors together, here's when I start to build it up, build up the, the shading and actually trying to make it look three-dimensional. And something that I like to do is build up the values rather than trying to put two, uh, for example, trying to put a light color next to a really dark color and then trying to blend the two. I don't really like doing that. I like building it up. Kind of like what I'm doing here, where now I'm finally bringing out the darkest darks after I've already like laid down um, darker values before that. So in terms of how I colored, some tips that I think I could share is when something gets lit, it doesn't, it's really tempting to put white or yeah, just putting white is sometimes really tempting. And I did, I, I went definitely went through that, but I realized and I learned is that when something gets bright, I'm sorry, when something gets lit, it's actually getting brighter, not just getting whiter. So for example, if you look at her her chest, her shirt, where her boobies are, <laughs> um, her, her shirt is getting lit and it's a brighter pink rather than just whiter. And I think that actually makes it look a lot better and looks a lot more believable as well. And it just looks a lot more appealing in the end. So just the point is when you're trying to make show something that is being lit, make it brighter, not just whiter. And for the shadows, it's kind of the same idea where for the most part shadows usually are uh, less saturated, like less bright. But because this painting is so cartoony and the style is really cartoony, I didn't want to go with any dull colors. I mean, the color is more dull than, uh, like the shadows are duller in, in comparison to some of the brighter parts. But overall, I tried to avoid a lot of dull colors in this painting because it's just a stylized painting where there's a lot of bright colors. But for the shadows in particular though, uh, for example, actually all of it, like in her hair too, I there's this uniform purplish color. I think that's also more interesting than just putting black. So opposite to just putting white when something is lit, it's kind of not interesting if all you do is put black. Uh, it's It just looks more appealing when the hue changes when something uh, gets darker. So like, I decided that I like purple to be that common dark color for everything. And purple just looks really good with as a dark color for skin tones because it's, again, not just adding black, but purple as a color generally is darker without looking dull. So here I'm just <laughs> starting to refine the ducks. So okay, to explain the concept behind this, Bailey went to a night market called the Richmond Night Market and she was wearing this outfit that I really like which is why I wanted to paint this but I just thought it was also funny to include the ducks because when she went to the night market she was kind of like 
upset that there weren't these giant ducks that apparently were there last year. I guess that's the theme of this kind of of this night market is that it's giant ducks or just rubber duckies. And she was just like, like, where's the ducks all the time? And I just thought that was really funny. So I thought that if I was gonna paint her, I would paint her just just covered and overwhelmed with ducks so that she can mesmerize as many ducks as she wants. But the main thing was that I really liked her outfit that day, so I'm a fashion sucker and I just wanted to draw pretty clothing. And of course, her hair is just such a fun thing to draw. Like green hair, who, like the turquoise bluish green hair, who doesn't like drawing that? It reminds everyone of a mermaid, so. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what else can I here, I guess I'm just trying to, like, once again, I'm sort of struggling with the hands. But for the most part, I think it turned out pretty good. Like, the hands, I mean. It looks convincingly like hands, yes. So that's a success, I guess. <laughs> I, I was just, after I finished this, I was kind of like, man, those ducks? That could be kind of creepy if you're just, like, surrounded by all these like sentient rubber ducks <laughs> and just you're just like trapped uh, and then here I was I was kind of struggling with the skirt a little bit too just because it was transparent except for a certain skirt area and then it's flowery uh, but yeah so this is my drawing of Bailey J and I really hope anyone who sees this likes it thanks for watching bye